I cannot count the hours that I have dreamt of this day to visit Rotuma, my mother's birthplace in the South Pacific. My mother, Lucy Manau Samuela Weber, was born in Sao Le Rotuma to Semesi and Ngarsao Samuela. Growing up in the United States, mom told us stories of her adventures and mischief in Rotuma. In our family home, we had photos displayed of tropical scenes in Rotuma, a stark contrast to the snow-capped Rocky Mountains where we grew up. Coming to Rotuma is a lifelong dream. We're about to board to Rotuma. In her final days on Earth battling cancer, Mom wanted to be surrounded by photos of her ancestral homeland. Listening to Rotuman music brought her comfort. Something about Rotuma called to her, and it calls to me, too. In 2020, the cruelty of cancer struck our family again, this time taking my older, beloved brother, James. Here he is as an infant with Grandpa Samesi and as a toddler with my grandma, Narsau. Before he passed away, James told me that he wished he could visit Rotuma before he died. Sadly, he ran out of time. Today, I carry my brother James and my mother in my heart to our homeland. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rotuma. Cousin Jonathan Fong and his family as we embark upon our first video shoot for the Rotuma Project, an interactive 360-degree virtual tour of the island, which will feature documentary-style videos on Rotuman history, culture, and local storytelling. Our mission is to connect Rotuman people around the world while helping bring a taste of the island to Rotuman descendants who have never been there or to help bring back memories for those who cannot return due to health, finances, or other reasons. Etika Eliza, my cousin's father-in-law, takes us from the airport in Aho to our host family in Losa. He offers my first glimpse into the island and its beautiful people. We are with the ones we are proud to be with the ones that we would like to showcase to the world. You know, this is us. We are greeted with a mamasa, or welcoming ceremony, organized by our hosts in Lhasa, Tom and Irao, and their son, Yeli, and his wife, Grace. Mamasa literally means to dry off, and refers to the old days of welcoming returning fishermen and sea voyagers. It's a unique Rotuman ceremony, a symbolic way of washing away the worries of travel and welcoming you into the community. It's also a way for guests to recognize the importance of learning and respecting the local customs and protocols of Rotuma. A mamasa takes an incredible amount of work from growing and harvesting the food, making the underground earth oven or kaua to cook the food, and the painstaking crafting of the tefui, a garland unique to Rotuma that is made from palms, red ginger flower, and other fragrant leaves and flowers. The guests are adorned with the tefui, anointed with oil, and an announcement and prayer is given. It's a day of rejoicing. It's a day. And the feast is presented. After the mamasa, Atika takes us on our first complete trip around the island. We are moved to tears to finally see in person so many places we had only seen in photos. We trace our roots to our ancestral home in Sao Le, where our mothers were born. Family we had not yet met before help us walk the paths of our great grandparents and show us the foundations of our ancestors' homes, or Fuang Ri. The Satan clan originated from this Fuang Ri here. Um, so it's good to meet my niece that came from uh, America. Um, and my nephew, Jensen from Suba. We enjoy a family meal cooked mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. kaua 
and take part in a kava session in Saule. <laughs> It's wonderful to weave new family ties with our elders as well as the next generation. In the coming months, we'll be sharing breathtaking aerial photography, videos, and interviews from our inaugural trip to Rotuma, including our experience living with an expert fishing family in Lhasa in a traditional Rotuman style house. Okay, so just over my shoulder is the bore or the home where we're staying. You can see it has a traditional Rotuman architecture with a vaulted ceiling and thatched roof. And it's just a stone's throw from the white sandy beach. And here we are just swimming and enjoying ourselves. And here comes a big wave, so I'm gonna see if I can capture it um, as it crashes into the black rocks behind me. Got it. <laughs> While words, photos, and videos simply cannot do justice to the beauty of this special island in the middle of the South Pacific, we will do our best to honor and document it through the Rotuma Project. We hope you'll join us on this journey. Here, many people have found ways to live in harmony with God's abundance and with each other, and to live joyfully without the excesses of the material world. Now that I have set foot on our ancestral homeland, I more fully understand why my mother found comfort in visions of Rotuma and Rotuman music during her final days on earth. Perhaps it was her way of preparing the path toward heaven. To know where you come from can help uncover who you are and perhaps who you are meant to be. This experience has made me even more proud to be Rotuman, and like my mother before me, I will pass on this treasured heritage to my children. With love and gratitude from Rotuma, Hanisiyah. <laughs>